Hello Libra, I'm going to be doing a bonus love reading for you. I did a couple of these last week and you guys seem to like them so I'm going to keep them up as much as long as I can anyway. So this will be a bonus love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. It will be a general love reading so it will not resonate with everyone watching. I'll start with some oracle cards here. This is my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. Spirit. Messages for Libra, please. Hopefully you can't hear the noise too. In the background, my neighbors are cutting trees. Hopefully the mic doesn't pick it up. We'll see. For Libra. What do they need to know in regards to love? September 2020. What do they need to know? In regards to love. Oh, I got two. Ooh, we got love letter, message, truth, confession. A message is on its way. We got deep breath. Take this time to meditate and rest. Got tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling trapped in a situation. And cold shoulder. Someone's feeling shut out or left out of this connection. What is going on? Let's clarify for Libra in regards to love spirit. Messages for Libra. What does Libra need to know in regards to love? September 2020. What does Libra need to know? All right, let's see. Cap for you. Ooh, four of wands, knight of cups, and the knight of pentacles reversed. Bottom of the deck, five of wands. Interesting, the five of wands. Conflict, competition. Right away, I see a, um, someone here expressing how they feel. This is that love letter. This is someone expressing how they feel in some sort of message. This could be a text, something on social media. It could even be an apology. Um, I feel it has to do with commitment, either a message about commitment or a message that will lead to something stable here with the Four of Wands. And I, in the past, I feel like there hasn't been a lot of communication. This is that cold shoulder card, I feel. Um, either very little communication or someone has felt left out in a way like they're they're disconnected from you in some way here libra and then in the near future i see the knight of pentacles reverse so i see you know if this is leading towards commitment i feel like a lot of time is still needed here uh, maybe your person is experiencing delays let me clarify let's clarify Clarify these messages, please, for Libra. Let me just look what's at the bottom of the Oracle deck. Manifesting abundance. Okay. Maybe this is manifested in some way. All right, so let's clarify. Let's start with this Four of Swords. What happened in the past here with the Four of Swords? Why is the Four of Swords here for Libra? There could have been some sort of conflict in your connection here. Outside parties or jealousy. Let's see. Four of swords, please. Oh, okay. Three of swords. Someone's been healing. Um, someone holding back here because of some pain or disappointment. Something wasn't working. Someone wasn't able to put in enough effort here. Was holding back. Could be even financial. It's almost like someone was keeping their pain hidden. Maybe over time they've been reflecting on this. Three of Swords. I'm really hoping this isn't a third party situation, but I do have Tied Up and I have Four of Wands here. 
Let's see, what's this Four of Wands about? For Libra. Why is the Four of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the Four of Wands here? Three of Wands reversed. Why is the Four of Wands here? Four of Wands again. It's like someone's gotten tired of waiting for a commitment here, for something to happen with a commitment. Can I get one more, please, for this Four of Wands? Ace of Swords. Clarity, communication. Again, the Four of Swords at the bottom. So it's like the repeating message. I feel like someone um, needs to express themselves here. Um, there's some sort of truth or clarity, a new beginning based on truth. Queen of Pentacles reverse, four, Five of Swords and the High Priestess. So this is something that I feel like one of you has kept hidden from the other here. Either how you truly feel or um, something to do with a commitment here. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. What is this Knight of Cups about? What's the Knight of Cups about? The Star. Queen of Swords. Aquarius energy with the Star. This is a serious conversation. This is genuine emotion here. Can I get one more for, wow, Six of Cups. This is from the past. Seven of Wands, maybe you blocked this person at some point. Five of Pentacles, reverse cold shoulder. Someone wants to have some sort of recovery here with a message, starting with a message here. It's like somebody wants to talk and the other person's not sure, is very guarded, defensive. Um, maybe they are not completely open to talking about this or hearing this person out. Maybe it's been too long or a lot of time has passed or maybe someone is still um, having some sort of difficulty with what happened. Either feeling regret or pain or disappointment, heartbreak. Now with the star, I feel like someone wants to heal this connection in a way. Um, have some sort of renewal here. And I'm also getting the sense that someone has hope. I mean, it's like they're hoping that you'll, how do I say? Like hoping that you'll listen to them. Hoping that you'll accept them. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? It's the Knight of Pentacles reversed here. Seven of Pentacles again. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse, Spirit? This could be you, this Queen of Swords. Um, you might be very guarded, like your walls are up when it comes to this person. King of Cups um, kind of did a little turn there to be upright. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles reverse. It's almost like this person is delayed because they have to, oops. Oops, oops, oops. Hold on. Give me one second, guys. It's almost like they're delayed because they have to fight for something here or fight someone. And the reason I say this is because of that five of wands. Um, and oh my gosh, just as I say that, there's the five of wands at the bottom there. It's almost like they have to fight someone to get to you or fight something to make this offer solid. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles reverse, please. Oh my gosh, the Knight of Cups. Seven of Swords at the bottom with the Queen of Wands, Page of Wands. Wow, this person is really like having to think about this in a different way. Um, be very strategic about the way they approach you.
I feel like this is someone who has a lot of love for you. King of Cups, Knight of Cups. But they have something else here that's kind of in the way. I feel like that's what this tied up is all about. What else does Libra need to know? Actually, I want to do this other deck here. What else does Libra need to know about this connection spirit? What else does Libra need to know about this connection? That's too many. What else does Libra need to know? Death reverse, Scorpio energy there. What else does Libra need to know? Someone's resisting the end of something. Ooh, the Hierophant. Someone I feel might be in a commitment here already or they need to end something in order to lead to commitment. Taurus energy with the Hierophant. One more please for Libra. The Empress reverse. Wow, all major arcanas. Ten of Cups at the bottom. I feel like there's... In order to get the, their personal happiness, their emotional fulfillment here, I feel like something has to end for good with death card reversed. Um, someone could already be in a commitment. Someone could already be uh, married with children here. Um, yeah, this is someone that definitely wants a new beginning here. Knight of Wands, but something here hasn't completely ended with the world reversed. There's unfinished business still here delaying this person. They really love you. They want to make some sort of an offer. Um, starting with communication, you know, a message, a confession, an apology. It's going to be different for everybody. But um, I feel like even if they're not able to give you commitment right away, you're going to know exactly how they feel. And I feel like this is something that has, it's, it's almost like it, it came from like a disconnect you guys were disconnected or separated or there was not a lot of good communication and all of a sudden this comes through all right libra i'm gonna leave it there if this resonated with you leave me a comment let me know how the reading resonated for you if you're interested in my stellar energy oracle deck the link is down below and if you're interested in interpreting the tarot for love and learning how to do all that check out my ebook it's linked down below as well thank you so much for watching your likes your subscribes and your comments help out the channel grow and it's a great way to support the channel. So thank you to everyone that has done that. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video. Take care.